Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So we're starting this week off at uh, Strip and Glow. It is a waxing studio. Um, I'm going to be getting waxed by lady named Valerie. So if you do need a wax and you, you know, are around Brandberg, come to Strip and Glow. Like, I think you can see it because she's so nice. So we're going to see how um, she does with the waxing. But I think I should keep my mask on. She left me these wet wipes um, to just freshen up because, you know, yeah, and then I have to lay on the bed like <laughs> And I'm so tired of angles. And what happens with me is like um if I shave, yeah, like I sometimes get boiled because of like the friction of the razor blade on my skin. It's very, very harsh. So yeah, I'm just gonna freshen up and then get to it. <laughs> we work for results, not for fun. Yeah, yeah. Please, it's, it's not fun. There's nothing fun about you this. So well. Huh? You did so well with the chair. There's nothing fun about this. Oh my god. <laughs> like my daughter, you know my daughter does colours. Really? How old is your daughter? Four. Four? She's very confident. I love she, I love confidence. She is very confident. You know what? I love your technique because you talk to me. Yeah. You spoke to me the whole time to distract me from the face. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, follow her on Instagram. I'm gonna put her handle up on the screen. And then, is there like any rules like the for water? But so yeah, I was gonna give you that education, but thank you. The only thing you can't do is exercise after you work because your skin is still very sensitive. So wait, how long? No, just today. Tomorrow you can go back to your routine. Okay. You can't yes. swim, so it's just a matter of you can't swear it. You can't swim as well because your pores are still very much open. Mm -hmm. So chlorine in the water is yeah, gonna just, yeah, you know. Yeah. So what you might experience is itchiness. Itchiness is in two ways. It's either the skin is dry and dehydrated, so a lot of moisturization, or it's because there's bacterial infection happening. Yeah. But just because of the ingrown terminator, if you do decide to take it, that should take care of it. Okay. Uh, guys, I just got my wax done. I'm a brand new woman. Brand new woman. I'm gonna leave Valerie's contact details on the screen. And if you do come to the salon, just tell her, you know. So she ain't gonna send you, period. So yeah, I'm gonna go home now. Morning, guys. It is Wednesday today. And I just woke up. It is 10 to 9. I look so insane. My lips are dry. As it's swollen. Everything is just wrong right now with my appearance. I need to call KZN. I need to call UKZN to see if they have captured my application. I called on Monday, but they hadn't captured the application. So I'm just gonna call them now and see what they say. Because, girl. I submitted my application when you guys opened your late applications on the first I, I submitted one application on the 1st of Feb and the other one on the 10th of Feb and um, I haven't received a response from you guys so just wondering like how can I know if my application is um, how do I know if it's captured or not because I've been calling and like every time I call my application hasn't been captured and I was told that, um, like by one of the people on the phone, that registration closes on the 25th of February. So now I'm a bit concerned because like, I don't know if I'm in and registration is closing on Friday. So is there any chance you could help me? I'll put you through the application office. Okay. Welcome to the UK Student Education Contact Center. If you are a South African student, if you have already submitted an application for admission for 2022, press 1. If you would like to submit it, if you have been offered a place and require more information, press 1. If you have not yet received an offer and want to check the status of your application, press 2. Please enter your student number or your CIO number followed by the hash key. Hello, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. 
I'm good, thanks. Uh, I just wanted to find out if my application has been captured. I've been calling um, the university like since last week and my application hasn't been captured. It wasn't captured like every single time I phoned. And now I'm a bit worried because um, registration is closing in two days and I haven't received a response from you guys. So I'm just concerned and I would like to find out if my application has been captured. Morning guys, again, I'm so excited. Like, okay, I haven't received a response, but at least, at least they captured my application. So if my application is captured, it means that, you know, I'm gonna get a response soon. I'm hoping to get a response by the end of the week because yesterday I applied to Regent Business School and I got accepted, man. But that's just second choice, you know. I want to go to UK to end. <sighs> oh my gosh, guys, man. I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna pray like I have never prayed. I want to get into the university. I'm going to. I'm going to get into UK I'm going to, in fact, I've been accepted already by UK I've been accepted. I've been accepted for the course that I want to do. I've been accepted for the degree that I want to do. My first choice, I've been accepted. I've been accepted and I'm not taking no for an answer. I'm done working out. I just need to do a cool down because, yo. Know, but my abs are coming together, guys. Let me show you. You see? I'm very excited about that. But I need to cool down now. I believe. Okay, maybe you will believe. So I went to the. Um, police station because I had to certify my ID and my matric certificate because of the whole UKZN thing like they're coming and they're like okay we're looking at your application for bachelors of administration we just need you to certify your documents so I went to the police station you know I look so basic tights shoes and the top no makeup nothing I look and I was wearing a mask not the policeman who was um, certifying my documents, giving me his number as he WhatsApp me. Yeah, where <laughs> zero. I'm not gonna WhatsApp him. Like it's not gonna happen. Like sir, it's not happening. So yeah, guys. And I was scared not to take his number. Like what if I didn't take it and he shot me? Ah, so I was like, oh, let me just take it because yeah. But yeah, guys, it's the tea. <laughs> hey guys, it is a beautiful, beautiful. 
Thursday today. It's Thursday, and I am doing something exciting. I don't know what I'm doing today, but like I am locking my hair. So after I take this um, style out, these braids out, I am locking my own hair. I'm starting my lock journey. I've been looking at dreadlocks. I've been first of all. Before you know, people start saying their own things. I've been wanting to get ah, I have two lip derbies. I've been wanting to um get dreadlocks like since I was a kid, but my mom has been saying no and no and no and no and no. no. But now <laughs> I am an adult of sight, a sound mind, and a body, so I am definitely gonna lock my hair. I am thinking about like going ginger <laughs> i'm gonna dye my hair i'm crazy me i'm dying my hair ginger and i don't know like i'll just see what colors are available when i go to the shops just now um but yeah i'm locking my hair i'm so excited like i'm so excited for this new journey and what it's gonna bring to me i'm dedicating like my locks to like me like patience and like self-love and stuff like that so i'm just i can't wait <laughs> i really can't wait yeah hi guys good morning um so as you can see i've taken my braids out and i'm gonna be bleaching my hair now i'm coming i'm coming yeah so i'm gonna bleach my hair i'm using this I've seen them use this at salons, so well, <laughs> it's time. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I really don't want to lie. I'm so 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 nervous because it's like, what if I look crazy? If I look crazy, guys, hmm? I'm gonna cut my hair. Like you have no idea, guys. And I'm breaking out. Oh, they sent me a comb. They didn't send it to me. I got a comb, but I don't need it because I have my own. And then here's the powder, the bleach. Then here is the developer. I really hope this is gonna be enough for my whole head because I have a lot of hair. So I really, really, really hope it's gonna be enough. <laughs> it better be enough or else I'm gonna scream. Um, so I'm waiting. I just put in the hair dye. I use this hair dye, um, Amber Blonde. Now, what happened is I tried, well, I bleached my hair. I put the bleach in my hair and my hair is like a lot. So like, I didn't like, like it wasn't enough bleach, yeah? So my hair didn't bleach completely. I'm gonna put like a picture up. It lightened the color of the red, but it, and then there's some places that are, you know, blonde and then my roots are black because there wasn't enough for me to dye my roots. Uh, it's a whole story. So uh, I bleach my hair. At this point, I'm playing with life because you aren't supposed to bleach and dye your hair like in the same, like on the same day. But they do it the salon, so hey. But man, I don't know. Hey? I'm just at this point. I'm just taking chances. Um, so I'm also gonna put up a video of how my hair looked like when I put the dye on, and then you're gonna see. So right now, I don't know how my hair is gonna come out. I just put this dye on. I don't know how it's going to come out. At this point, I'm just trusting God. Like I'm waiting for God to make it happen because, yeah, I can like feel the heat like on my head because of the plastic bag and the product. And I keep on pulling on my hair because I don't want my hair to fall out. Yo, yeah, I am like, ish, dog, I don't even know. Like I'm so tempted to just open up the plastic and see if anything is happening. I want to see if my hair is actually dying because if it doesn't change color, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to look like I'm crazy with all these colors on my head, guys. Sure. Anyways, we'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. But come fire, come water. I'm locking my hair. I'm not locking it today. I'm twisting my hair for my dreadlocks today. And then also of the color thing, like when I undo my hair, I mean like when the dreads are on my head. But right now, my main priority is to do these dreads, like because no ways, no way, boy. I'm so scared. Hey, you guys! So surprise! Let me give you a 360 of how my hair looks like. 
yeah so yesterday i didn't really like go on camera like that because i had like a proper i was having like a mental breakdown because you see what happened like i uh, i told you yesterday like that i was um I bleached and I dyed my hair, dyed my hair on the first on the same day, and you aren't supposed to do that. Um, so because my hair was red, nah, um, it was difficult to get the color out of my hair. So that really like, you know, like I was so upset because the red like didn't like my hair didn't bleach like it was supposed to bleach. Do you get me? So I was really 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 upset about that. I don't want to lie to you, and I didn't even know that like red would be such a difficult color to get out of your hair you know so fine i bleached my hair and i dyed it and then when i took off the because then like now i was looking to see like how far um my hair like how is my hair looking so far you know next thing you know my roots are turning red how are my roots turning red <laughs> Guys, I had I panicked and then I just removed it and then I just washed my hair. I washed the the the, the dye out. So that's why my hair is like an uh, like an array of colors. There's blonde in my hair. There's like a yellowish shade. There's orange. There's red. Like my hair is just crazy right now. But I like it. And then I was like, <clears throat> I did these twists last night. I wasn't really in the mood to, you know, um, for a while I was twisting my hair. So um, I twisted it. These are my starter locks. I'm so excited to start this lock journey. I'm really dedicating my dreads to myself. Like, I'm going to teach myself how to be patient with these dreads and how to love myself. Because let me tell you something now. I don't know if I'm the only person who felt like this, but like for me, I felt like the whole time I was hiding behind my hair because my hair is so big so it's like the like I wasn't even you know I was hiding behind my hair basically so now that my hair is gonna be like the, like the shrinkage like the shrinkage is crazy the shrinkage is actually insane and you see at the back so now I feel like there's no hair and there's hair and i need to teach myself that i am more than my hair so i am going on a self-love journey and this lock journey i i'm really curious and i'm really excited to see where i'm gonna be in six months like in terms of my hair but yeah guys look at me like a kid i look so nice don't you think i look nice i think i look nice i think i look hot period yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do now i am just going to um pack my makeup away because the disc looks very untidy right now my brushes are everywhere blah blah, blah. i need to fix that so um yeah i went grocery shopping today and let me show you guys what i'm wearing actually what i wore there if you watched my um try on home you would know I'm wearing the just the top. I'm wearing these tights and these shoes that I got from the fix. Everything I wear basically is from the fix. I love that shoe. That stuff. I love that store. So yeah, guys, just giving you like a little update or whatever, you know. Also, I got job. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm going to be laying my edges. Yeah, but yeah. And it's my first time doing like an eye look that looks like this. So I'm also proud of myself for that because I think it looks banging. Period. <laughs> hey guys, so um, <laughs> I was at church today, today's Sunday. And um, church was cool, you know, it was really good. Um, <clears throat> but the highlight is what happened after church. <laughs> so. I'm still be chilling, you know, whatever, living my life. You know, then some gents like who's sitting in the same row as me. First when I walked in, yeah, because I, I, I sit at, like I sit in that room every week, like that's my spot, you know. So I walk in, I sit, and then like we sat at the same time and then he greeted me and I was like, oh hi, you know, obviously I'm gonna greet you back if you greet me. Ah 
fine, cool. Whole service, I'm saying this gent is just moving chair, moving chair, moving chair, like it's coming closer every time. And I'm like, hmm, okay, let me not pay any mind. Maybe he wanted to make space for the people who um came in. Fine after church, he pulls up his life. <clears throat> He's like, I really like your hair. And I was like, oh thanks, you know, I'm starting locks. And he has dreadlocks, so I was gonna go to him after church and be like, hey, I like your hair. I'll be like, I'm also trying to, you know. Okay, fine, cool, whatever, whatever. I tell him there was actually a bleaching accident <laughs> that my hair turned like this, but you know, he's like, nah, looks cool, okay, fine, whatever. Gives me his name and give him my name, fine. Ah, then he says to me, um, you know, in Matthew, <laughs> I was like, what? Are you just trying to preach to the Holy Spirit to touch you? I see, you know, in Matthew, um, it says ask and you should receive. Ah! And then I was like, ah, so do you want to ask for my number? <laughs> and like, yeah. And then I gave him, but I gave him because I like the way he he has games. He has games. So I give him my number. Yeah guys, I'm too lazy to have breakfast. I love breakfast. To make supper. So I'm just gonna make a drink because I'm not about to warm up food and some plain yogurt. So yeah, does that happen the church today? It was so nice, Jane. Like, it was so nice. I liked it a lot. So, y'all, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>